walking in here, this is what you see. This place is massive. Oh man. <laughs> 350. For some OG pumps. These are not OG pumps, but they're good enough. 2250 complete. That's not bad. Already in deep trouble in this place. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Wow. And this is a privilege to see this right now. More? Oh man, you're killing me. Wow. Two more tubs of vintage Kenner Star Wars carded. God, this is frightening. Wow, look at that skull, man. Hey, uh, Toys for the Ages Expo, Andy Cook. You're missing one, two, three moss men right here. I'd put this in the, you don't normally see this every day category. At the back of the store now, we still have, oh. <laughs> I literally just, holy crap. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's off to a hot start here in 2024. It is Saturday, January 27th, and I am standing outside of Hidden Treasures located in the Livingston Mall here in Livingston, New Jersey. Now, I've never stepped foot inside this place just yet, but I've watched a few videos on the tube. Most recently, my buddy Mr. Sintastic posted a video just a week ago, and this place looks absolutely massive. They sell all sorts of antiques, graded comics, statues, sports memorabilia, and of course toys, both modern and vintage. So without any further delay, why don't we flip the camera around? We'll do a full walkthrough of this place and see what they got. Walking in here, this is what you see. This place is massive. These aisles are menacing. Why don't we start over here off to the right, up against the right wall, and we will snake in and out of these aisles and check out everything. Sports memorabilia, obviously. Some signed basketballs up there. I have to take a closer look at that. The Flyers puck signed here. Pretty neat. Love that, some toys. All the way up that ceiling I mean this is this place is huge it's like warehouse-esque big moving over into some sports cards kind of pop there some garbage pail kids cool Now, Mr. Sintastic alluded to the prices here being a little crazy, but I don't know. We shall see. I don't know how much of this place is consignment or what, but we'll find out at some point. More cards. Let's flip around to see what's behind us. Pokemon. I loved Pokemon as a kid. I had a neon green Game Boy Color and Pokemon Red. Some vintage plush. Ooh, getting into some toys here. Some Toy Biz stuff. Superheroes as well. Toy Biz Marvel, I should say, plus the DC superheroes, and we've got the training center, it looks like down here. How much is that? 
I don't know. Can't really see. Oh, wow, the mail away Punisher. The giant size mail away Punisher, that's cool. Some of the other big boy Marvel pieces. Got some Secret Wars mixed in here as well, it looks like. Combat Cave. Do this play set up here. Just take a look real quick. Look at that. All the way across the top. We just started walking down this aisle. We have all of that left to go. This is how much we've walked thus far. <laughs> Not very far. <laughs> Secret Wars cap carded. 175. Power Demon there. I've always liked that figure. Let's flip back around and see what's behind us. Enter Star Wars. A couple of Jabba's up there. Some ships. X Wing for 250. Slave one, C-3PO costume down there. Moving over into some more Star Wars land speeder. That box is really nice for 180. Some of the episode one bases there. Imperial attack base. Right back around to some more Kenner Star Wars. Might sound crazy, but I was talking to my buddy, the Jersey Geek, and Chad Plouf, both of my buddies, just yesterday, saying with the new toy room coming, I've made some hard decisions in the past two years, but I might make a few. It's pretty nice, the first 12 here. They look pretty good. I might have to make a couple of difficult choices, a few more difficult choices, I should say. And one of those choices would be possibly to, I don't even want to say it, but I don't know what I'm doing with my Kendra Star Wars collection. I'll just put it that way. Six fifty. Is that graded? I can't see. The metal just looks like it's in a case, but wow, that looks mint. Super cool. Up above, we got the space case for forty. I have a couple of them. That's awesome. As I talk about being unsure of what I want to do with Kenner Star Wars. We're about halfway through the first aisle here. As you can see, the uh, nice divider. Got some die cast in this cabinet off to the left. Some magazines. Moving on down, looks like some Robin Hood. Yep. Ooh, loose. This is cool. Some stickers. Big Batman case here. Some more superheroes on card this time. More Toy Biz. 2099. Scarlet Spider. Iceman. I haven't seen some of these. 
Symbiote suit Spidey over there. Anything interesting down here, Nick Fury? That's cool. We've got an assortment of Joes. Some die cast. Ooh. The superpowers Batmobile. Two of them. This one's 75, that one's 125. Both look pretty good. 89 Batmobile down there. Some more die cast. We have finally finished aisle number one. Let's see what's in aisle number two. Coca-Cola collectibles. Interesting. Some statues here, it looks like. Fifth scale. Six scale, I should say. Sorry. Some Marvel cards there. We've got Impel Series 2, which I like that thing. Actually, ironically, one of the few cards from Series 2 that I like. Ooh, it's cool to see the box, though. I was a Series 1 guy all the way. I also decided to uh, take a look at the aisle here. All sorts of stuff. Look at that. Packed with stuff. I am moving away from my Marvel cards. Iron Man. Mouse looks kind of cool. Superman lamp. I'm just sticking with all of my vintage MTG stuff. Really trying to keep a good focus with all of my collectibles these days. Series two and series one. Wow, look at that. Stack of series, stacks of series one. That's interesting. It's funny that all the stuff I talk about moving away from, I wind up finding <laughs> lots of. That box of parted series two is already friggin' haunting me. Moving on down, some more superhero stuff, statues, six scale, oh man, <laughs> 350, for some OG pumps. These are not OG pumps, but they're good enough. That's pretty awesome. God, I remember when those came out as a kid. I think it was in third grade. Playmobil. Closer look at what's up here. Mutant Hall of Fame. More sports cards. Shaq Daddy here. In his Miami gear. Need him in the Orlando gear. Or the LSU gear. More sports stuff. All nicely curated as well. Each one of these cases. Mishmash of antiques. Now we're talking one, two, three vintage gray skulls up here. My good Lord, two, oh, two slime pits, can't even <laughs> speak. This one actually looks pretty good. A couple 
of talent fighters. Dragon Walker for 50. All everything that we've seen thus far is in phenomenal condition. Right on there. Wow. Freaking Eternia. 2250 complete. That's not bad at all. Especially if nothing's broken. Probably say that's about right. That is nice, man. Yeah. Already in deep trouble in this place. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Did that just come in? One of our grails. No, no, we had it, but we, we only show it to people that are serious. Oh don't know my. what they're doing, you know? Can, can I look through that? Yeah, you can. Thank you so much. This is, wow, Big Dub. Big Dub has most of these, and and there, this is, this golem is pristine. Wow, the whole set. Wow, I am frightened to ask how much all of this is, but this is why I am moving away from certain lines that I absolutely love because I want to focus on other lines that I love more. Jeez, this is, a, this is beautiful. Wow. And this is a privilege to see this right now. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow, dude. <laughs> uh. Let's back carefully. Unreal, Knickerbocker, Lord of the Rings, carded and mint. Okay. Slide in here, what do we got? It's gonna be hard to top that, jeez. We're into what looks like a purely antique aisle here. But what I will say is straight ahead I've got some crash dummies more oh man you're killing me ay 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 wow <laughs> uh, and these are all for sale right all for sale. Two, more tubs two more tubs of vintage Kenner Star Wars carded and Beautiful condition. The offer stickers too, most of these. Wow. Okay. I thought it was a good thing that this place is only less than an hour from me, but I don't know, I don't know. Not good for my wallet. Got the treads here with the Thunder Tank. A couple of Panthros. Nice LJN Thundercat section. Mumra looks clean. Ooh, really nice. Uh, some stuff on his arm. Looks like you could probably get that out. Lino looks nice. Voltron pieces. I do want a skull tank. Don't have one. <laughs> that one looks good. Uh, this is going to be such a problem. Super Soaker 50. Oh, that's the limited edition. I was going to say, because back in the day, the 50, oh no, the 100 well, had the blue, had the blue canister, the blue tank. Super Soaker 100. Crash Dummies. Awesome to see this. Of course. What do we have over here? Some Kiss stuff. So you can see, this is aisle number three we just walked down, which is, like I said, Pretty much all antiques. We have located the turtle display. Got the bus here. I don't really care about this bus, to be honest. Never did anything for me. Got a foot ski.
Toko looks nice. No rub on his nose either. Interesting. Wow, that Bebop is mint. That is mint. You have to check the stamp on him. That's an original 10, which it might be. Could be an upgrade for me. A loose upgrade. Some carded stuff here. 210 on the mummy. I mean, that's fair. Going right for the most part on that. And then up above, this is pretty sweet. I wouldn't mind ha having this just sitting on the floor of my toy room. And here we go down another aisle. Mario's dope. Also games. Got a Genesis here, not the OG OG Genesis, but had a vintage Sega Genesis. Some games, Xbox 360. Man, I remember when Xbox 360 was just coming out. NES games here, Final Fantasy, nice with the sleeve. Zelda Game Genie. Pretty sweet. Sorry, bud. Antiques. Some Toy Story. I know my buddy, uh, the Jersey Geek, is going to want to see this. Mars Attacks, JB's Toy Trunk, there you go. Come to the Livingston Mall in Livingston, New Jersey to pick up your Mars Attacks stuff. Yeah, this is all jewelry. Little tchotchkes. Some full moon toys, an assortment of horror toys. God, this is frightening. No thanks. Oh yeah, baby. Here it is. Motu Land. Got the Origins 3-pack back there. And what do we have over here? 150 Skeletor and Panthro. Man, dude, that Panthro looks like it is newly flocked. That is insane. <laughs> that is insane, Faker, back there. Wow. Sun Man, OG Sun Man. Jeez. Modok, some Land Sharks. Some Night Stalkers. And some Stridors. I need a nice Stridor. There's at least one nice looking one here. This guy right up front. I have to look at the whole, the whole kit and caboodle there, but uh, it's looking good. And so does that. I actually have a glow scare glow. It's cool to see that. And those are not, those are loose. They, they're, they just have the card backs behind them. Got a knockoff here, Imperial bootleg. Three-headed dragon, I actually have that. I actually have that same exact one, same color scheme. We got a few more batches of loose Motu here, Triclops, Beastman, Merman. Batch of leeches there. Wow. Grizzlor also down there. Battlebones looks nice. Oh, oh, how much is that? 40 bucks. The Battle Ram. Ooh. Road Ripper, a few of them. Man, King Randor. Jeez. Some Prince Adams. 
Just chilling. Cyclones, Stratos, buzz off. Hey, uh, Toys for the Ages Expo, Andy Cook. You're missing one, two, three moss men right here. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow, look at that skull man. Oh, I didn't, that's the like one I didn't pick up. Oh my goodness. I literally may need to, oh, sugar puff. I may need to pick up all this Remco stuff. Oh my God. Okay. Back at the uh, front of the store. And I am in deep, deep trouble. Predator, alien. Some die cast right next to it. Some kaiju stuff here, Godzilla, King Kong. Get you guys a closer look at some of the pricing here for any and all that are interested. And it looks like more antiques sprinkled in here. T2. Six scale. Some NECA. Rocketeer. Interesting, some Mythic Legions down there too. Which is pretty cool. Some more sports stuff. Some older model cars, some model kits for cars. This is neat. I'd put this in the, you don't normally see this every day category. And as we move down, some more die cast, die cast, die cast, as you can see. Fire trucks here, neat to see this. Man, I remember Hess trucks and fire trucks and all that stuff was such a big deal back in the 80s and 90s. People thought that, oh, you buy the, buy the Hess trucks, they're gonna be worth something one day. They're worth, I think they're worth less now than they were back then, retail. That's sweet, Harlem Globetrotters signed. It's pretty sick. Chipmunks on card. Got a Sesame Street lunchbox. We have reached the Sesame Street cabinet here. This place is awesome. And so far, I'm not seeing any sort of egregious pricing from at least what I've paid attention to. You can let me know in the comments. I, For the most part, you know, you're always going to get some sort of range when it comes to pricing at places like this because they have to buy collections and you don't know what they're buying the collections for and then they have to sell to make a profit so but all things considered thus far i'm not seeing anything too crazy new kids on the block but i will i, I will give my final thoughts on that at the end of the video in sync Stuff creeps me out. What's going on over here? At the back of the store now. We still have, oh. <laughs> I literally just, literally just did this, walked into it. Wow. Yes. Yes, for the love of whatever. For the love of everything. I don't even make any sense right now. Carded Series 1. LJN D and D right there, War Duke and Strongheart, looking mint. Holy crap! Drex, complete. Zorgar, complete. Parallel, complete. If that's his real cape, which I think it is, I wonder if that's the blue shield or the brown shield. The blue shield is 
more rare. Strong heart complete, wrangle run complete, two hook horrors with no rub on their beaks. Grim sword is looking complete, freaking bowmark complete, two Grim swords. The one behind the hundred dollar one is 30, so he's definitely not complete. Nightmare, which is looking really mint. So I have. I don't have, we'll go down the line here. I don't have Drex, so I'll be buying him. I have Zorgar, he's complete here. He's got the club and the knife and he looks mint. I have a Melf, I have a Parallel, but, and I have a strong heart. I mean, I have basically everything here except for Bowmark and Drex, but I think I'm gonna just buy this stuff anyway because it's all mint and complete and it could be nicer than what I have. I also have a Hakar but I'm happy to army build those. So I may buy one of those. And now we move into the PBC TSR stuff. Some of which here I don't have. So I will be picking up some of this stuff too. I've got Odious back there, the Fire Elemental, the Minotaur, these Knights. I picked up a lot of these. Shout out to Toys for the Ages. Andy Cook, Chad Plouffe, Reese Retro Toys, the Jersey Geek. A winged here. A winged with the wings. Look at all the sectar stuff. And again, I have these flyers, but I don't have wings. So I might need that general sp uh, spy tracks with the flyer. Just because, yeah, he's got all the wings. Wow. More sectars over here. Got a Neptune. Black star right there. Incomplete. Oh, this is awesome. D&D model kit, that's pretty sick. And the 1991 calendar, how freaking cool. John Blackstar right there. Got a Trobit as well. Clearly my favorite case here. And I will be basically wiping that out for sure. As far as the carded stuff goes, I don't have any carded War Dukes. I have a... Uh, I have a Series 2 Strong Heart, which the bubble isn't great, but they're just, all this stuff is impossible to find. Then I have a Series 2 Grim Sword, which I'll, which will never leave my collection. I don't really, I'm trying to just collect the Series 2 on card, but these look mint. And $100 a pop, that's a, that's a very nice price. That's a very nice price. Starcom. Another line I don't need to be tempted by. Pretty awesome seeing that. What's the price on that? Buck 25, not bad, I guess. Actually not up on my Starcom prices, but but yeah. Grim Swords for 100. I don't know how much Bowmark is. Like, uh, 80, oh yeah. 80 whatever, 80, I'm buying it. And again, I mean, like, 30 bucks on that, 40 bucks. I mean, that's, it's nothing too egregious here. Zorgar for 60. Drex for 80. I don't know if we'll be able to do any sort of, oh, and Dragon, I need him. Chimera looking beast. Mount has the tail there. Let's check out the tail. Yep, tail's intact. Wings are intact. Yeah, I'm just buying this whole shelf. Crazy. Absolutely freaking crazy. Wonder Woman stuff. I'm literally sweating bullets right now between filming and finding that. It's freaking crazy. And it looks like we've got... Some more random antique stuff. Back to some vintage 90s Marvel. Pirates of Dark Water, too. Chilin on card. Power of the Force, Star Wars. It's kind of neat action, man. Is 
some newer stuff, wrestling. The million dollar belt signed by Ted DiBiase. Got the stinger here. The top of the stack. Hogan for 180. That card. So we found wrestling now. Some of the retros there. Tell WWE superstars. This is all new stuff. What's behind me? Marvel Legends. I would have been perfectly happy not turning around. But that's okay. Lord of the Rings. Toy Biz. Look at that. All lined up. Really nice. This dude is definitely a collector that works here, that runs this place. Yeah. Really cool stuff. I've never seen that. The bigger 12 inch. It's pretty sweet. Sorry, guys. Sorry. No worries. Toy Biz Marvel Legends. Hasbro Marvel Legends, more Toy Biz Marvel Legends. Got some belts here. What the hell is up with Vince McMahon, dude? My God. So embarrassing, so disappointing. But we won't get into that now. Jack Superstars, I love that three pack, Demolition three pack. Have that. Yeah, how many lessons have you had? Have you just had your fourth today? Oh, sweet. Stalker Predator. I love that piece. I don't have that either. Still a very affordable line. I don't know if it ever won't be, you know, but still a very affordable line. All the variants, all of it. Got a nice Toy Biz Marvel section here. X-Men subline. I know that, uh, get a little closer here. I know that Man Cave Collectibles is big into this line. I am too. I have a ton of this stuff. Like the original Toy Biz Marvel stuff, I'll probably keep on card, I think. I just love the way it looks on card, I don't know. But again, so price-wise, 12, 18, 15, 12, 10, 12, 15. I mean, this, that, this is all normal. Yeah, this is all normal. Black Tom. Love that figure and character. Has trucks. 1982, the year I was born, 60 bucks. Got the soccer ball. Pick them up here if you want. Some yeah. framed artwork here. Stack CDs. Some comics. Yeah. More cards. Simpsons shelf. It is nice everything is themed here, so you can pretty much bet when you find whatever it is. Like, I don't yeah, think I'm going yeah. to be finding another Simpsons shelf or Simpsons collectibles now that I found this thing. So, the place is nice and organized. Lionel trains. Power Rangers. New stuff up top, lightning collection. Vintage Disney. This is neat. Yeah, this is awesome. Porcelain dolls. Used to be a big thing in the 90s. That's awesome. 
Back to the front of the store. My goodness gracious, a lot of pops. It looks like down this aisle. We can loop around, check the ass end of it. Once we go through here, we have reached Hot Toys. So sixth scale and statues. I'm gonna take a step back, give you guys a full look at this. OG Sideshow, Joker bust right up there. That, both that and the Batman bust are both really nice. This looks like the Gentle Giant Rancor, which, yeah, it is. It looks amazing. I feel like this is a highly underrated piece. That's saliva. Got the earring there, too. So, like, the Sideshow one that came out a few years ago now, crazy, that's a few years. It's nice. Like, it's a cool Rancor, but it's not the Rancor. You know what I mean? Just doesn't remind me of the one from the movie. And Return of the Jedi is actually my favorite Star Wars movie. I know, you know ESB is probably a better movie, but Return of the Jedi is, for me, just childhood memories more so than uh, Empire Strikes Back. But I'm an, an original trilogy guy through and through. Iron Studios, Thundercats, 10th scale. More Hot Toys. That Thor VHS, what's up with that? That is sick. Looking all the way up, Sideshow, premium format, Grey Hulk. Still one of my favorite pieces. I think during that time, to me, that's when Sideshow is at its best. That Grey Hulk, the Green Hulk, the Red Hulk, all three of them are great. The Thing, premium format Thing from whenever that was, I mean like 2015, 2014, all of the premium formats during that time were, were awesome. Except for that, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like the the original Doom premium format. I'm not a big fan of that. But the Hulk statues, the Thing statues were great. The Galactus maquette, the Grail for any statue collector to this day. And those, to me, sideshow at its best. Some six scale stuff here. Barney and the Robocop. Sign Surfer. Some Rocky up here. Red Sonya. Scarface. Whoa, Ray Harry Hausman. Ray Harry Hausman Simbad. 375. This is very cool to see. All the claymation stuff from those movies back in the day were amazing. Some of my all-time favorites. Here's a closer look at the Joker bust. 1,200 bones. Kind of terrifying, honestly. Got some mixed media here on the chest. And of course, one of Sideshow's best pieces ever. Some would say best piece ever. This is the exclusive too with the grinning portrait. Thanos on throne maquette. For fifteen hundred. Good price. Came back down. That was over two grand for a very long time. So and then you don't have to pay shipping for it. That's a good price. Done with statues, but that is a nice price. At one point in time, I would have been all over that. My buddy Joe had that back in the day. This is the newer Sideshow premium format Venom. I think Martin Canale sculpt, I want to say. Pretty sure. Yeah, it is. He does all the, the big bustly dudes anyway. Him and Daniel Bell, both wizards at their craft. Some people didn't like this. I do. 
that's paint that's actually not a shadow, but I thought that's well done. The one problem, like the weird thing I have is this, there's nothing covering the ooze, right? Like that's gonna spill all over the place. Something needs to be like, there should be a border, you know, around the base of that to contain it, rocks or something. I don't know, that's just me. I feel like it's missing a layer of design there, of sculpt there. Always love that Hulk. Classic. Nice statue section. Pops, 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 pops. God, what the frig. Kind of don't want to get too close to this. Jason and Mike. Uh, yeah, this is kind of freaking me out. We'll just do a little pan there. I don't even want to stand next to those things. It's freaking me out. Fader bust. Past them. Logo is sick. More statues. So the more recent PCS. WWF pieces. I honestly don't like any of these. That Hogan is just not. Hogan. I really do like what PCS is doing though lately. Since they turned over new everything. Ownership, management, in bed with Sideshow now. And they're they've been doing some really great stuff. Especially the uh, my favorites probably. Right now, their TMNT Legends line, or whatever they're calling it, third scale line. It's awesome. Kajarik Brothers. Hulk for Spidey. Sick. Got a comic accurate Hawkeye up there. Star Wars. More Star Wars. MCU top shelf up there. That's a Hulk comicette. Comes in green, gray. And red, it's old school. Got this Triple H, Macho Man. So, this is the, looks like the comics and statue section. Get me away from these two. No thanks. Oh, did I? Is that? Oh. Never mind. It's Kevin Durant. Sports memorabilia here. Oh, this is awesome. Sports stars, Larry Bird. Oh, that's sick. Wayne Gretzky, Ace Novelty stuff, right? Yeah. Signed bats. Anyone we know of? Can't really see Barry Bonds, Tony Gwynn, Lenny Dykstra. Yep. All them. Signed balls, signed baseballs here. The 94 strike here. Wow. Pretty cool. Rod Carew down there. Can fit into that glove too, I'm a lefty. Kiss shelf. And it looks like more antique stuff. What we got going on here? Signed sports stuff and working our way back to the back of the store. You can smell the musty leather. Pretty sweet. What's going on over here? The Norman Bates section, taxidermy stuff. Yeah, I'm good on this stuff, too. But, uh, you can find it all here. This guy's looking into my soul. I'm good on that, too. Weirdest stuff freaks me out. Back at the store now. Once again. Signed sports memorabilia. Some starting lineups. Cal Ripken. Junior jersey signed. That's... Very awesome. 
This was the section that we did not walk all the way down because the front or first 50% of it was pops, is pops, I should say, spawn section here. I'm a Knicks fan, so I absolutely cannot stand that. Star Trek. OG Playmates. I've always been fond of that line. I've just never pulled the trigger on buying any of it. Tonka trucks. Was this the pop section? Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm just making sure that I know where I am. Some Hasbros. Let's look at the prices on these. Well, you got a retro there too. Wow. Wait. Oh, that's Luger, I was going to say. But I think that, that diesel is actually, Mattel Retro is actually pretty expensive now. Doing for 175 Warrior 275 Yeah, I mean, like... These prices are crazy in general now, not for this place. It's not unique to here. 400 on Andre. I have all the stuff carded that I bought back in the day, all for 100, under 100 bucks. I don't think I ever paid more than like 105 for something. I think I paid 110 for my carded Andre back in the day. And you've got some loose Hasbros here too. These are all in nice condition too. Very little paint rub on most of these. More carded Hasbros here. Got the Shango for 225. Red card Bam Bam for 400. I haven't paid full, uh, fully, haven't paid full attention to, there's a foreign card, to see if any of these are, go look again, WrestleMania cards. I don't think so. No, they're not. Take one more look at these. And then, oh man, green card stuff. Guns there. Got some LJNs. I love this. This Piper flush in the cup is like perfectly displayed. Got the King Kong Bundy <laughs> right behind it. Look at these LJNs, man. Renko. Well, really nice wrestling section here. You've got two casefuls of Hasbro's. And LJMs, pretty sweet. And then now, of course, you have the pops, 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 pops. And that brings us back up to the front of the room. So we actually wound up touring this entire place. What we need to do now is make a complete front of the store walkthrough complete. What I do want to do is <laughs> walk back down this aisle right to the D&D &D section and stand there and guard it until I can get the kind shop owner here to, I don't even know his name, I need to ask him his name, to open the case and give me all of it. Hopefully we can work out a deal, if not, whatever. I think the stuff is appropriately priced. And that, folks, is going to wrap up this store tour. Before we go, I did want to showcase this guy here, the Great Garlou, for $325. So I don't know if there's something wrong with this thing or what. If there's something wrong with me. I don't know if there's something wrong with this. 
a 325 seems too good to be true. Pretty awesome to see. Yo, so I don't know if I, I don't think I filmed this case actually, now that I think about it, because I'm standing right in front of the great Garlou, which we missed. So I didn't want to miss an opportunity to show you another awesome case here. Check this out. Centurions. Some Brave Star, Coleco Rambo. Look at that John Rambo back there. Doesn't have the dreaded white face either. Really, really clean and complete. Some troll dolls. Robocop. Captain Power. Sick case. Another sick, sick case here. Cops and Crooks. Chuck Norris. Fucking Jack Norris. Really cool. Another awesome case. And Hasbro Conan carded with Mr. Peanuts. This place is awesome. Mm -hmm. This is the hall. This is everything. Sectars, D&D, &D, all kinds. As you can see, can't pass up an opportunity to pick this stuff up with the wings. The flying mounts also we wound up finding some mint multi-figures hard is fitting and then the rest of the hall right here so massive lot all mint complete and incredibly hard to find Okay, guys, wrapping up our first ever experience at Hidden Treasures located in the Livingston Mall right here in Livingston, New Jersey. And wow, this place has one of the very best vintage toy selections that I have ever seen. A true sight to behold, this place really is. We had the privilege of rummaging through a mint on card Knickerbocker Lord of the Rings set. I picked up, as you saw, just a ton of mint loose complete ljn ad and d figures and mounts and beasts i picked up some sectars flying mounts with the wings little bugs i picked up that that winged with the with all of its wings it just stuff that for me core collections stuff that i can't pass up and here today whether i have it in my collection or not i needed to pick it up because this stuff was mint it was complete and when i go home and sort through it all I will take the better of the two that I have and use whatever is left for trade or whatever. So, but anyone that collects Dungeons and Dragons, the LJN stuff, you know how rare this stuff is to come by. And especially pieces like Drex and Bowmark, which I don't have, I do now, um, to find them in pristine condition complete, unbelievable. The price points on everything that I picked up, I thought were very fair and very good. Um, ton of stuff. Like I mentioned, as you just saw, they took 10% off the top, which was very nice of them. So I paid $1,300 and change. I paid with my with plastic, with my credit card, paid for the plastic with some plastic. So I paid a little over $1,400 when all was said and done out the door. They were, the customer service was perfect. It They provided me with several boxes. I'm staring at two big ones here. And within those boxes, there are a few smaller boxes. The guys took the time to bubble wrap every single figure that I asked to have bubble wrapped without question, went to the back, retrieved more boxes when we looked like we were, were running low. I actually brought my own box today in anticipation of possibly buying something. They said, no, we got it. Don't worry about it. Customer service was fantastic. Could not have asked for more. Really good guys. Real collectors, too, that run the store. I could not recommend visiting this place any more than I am right now. Highly recommend it. Make sure you go check it out. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Have you been here before? What did you think of the store? What did you think of the prices? What did you think of the pickups? Let me know what you would have picked up. Any and all of that. Like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will catch you guys on the next time. Peace.